<laughs> don't, don't record this. It's too bad. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Teron. Back up today. I'm taking you back, back to the exercises that I used to do growing up in football, in sports, track, football, basketball. We're gonna do a, we're, we're, we're gonna cut down the Aesthetically Athletic series that you guys know about a while ago, and we're gonna start something new, all right? All we're trying to do is become an athlete. I know I've been doing a, um, a set of different exercises from weightlifting, from bodybuilding, CrossFit, whatever it is. I'm that type of person because when it comes to the football athletic training back then, we used to do all of these movements and that's what's built me. Each set, each each um, era of training, the bodybuilding era, the CrossFit era, weightlifting is what makes the football athlete. We do all these um, movements. So, but now it's time to put everything together, including with the athletic performance. So today, I'm taking it back. I'm dressed like, yo, I'm like OG, like football dressed up right now, you know what I'm saying? Yo, alpha gear with the alpha shirts, use code FB Aftermath to grab, I mean, uh, just Aftermath to grab your shirts. Got the Reebok gear on, Reebok shorts, tights, shoes, the best training shoes right here. The best all around training shoes right here. Make sure you cop these. Link in the description for my Reebok website. And um, we're gonna get busy. So we're gonna start warming up. What I'm gonna start off with is footsteps right here. We're just gonna exchange. Keep the arms. We don't wanna be boom, boom. We wanna be right here, chest up, switch. Leg switch, arm switch. We're just gonna do 10 of those, relax. We'll do that three times to get warmed up. Stretching the shoulders out real quick. All right, next up, we're gonna do single leg jumps, right? So find something about uh, knee level, I would guess. This is about my knee level. A little bit over my knee level, but I'm black, I got hops. It's a given. Be cautious with this, this is a tempo jump. So that means I want you up, Back down, oh, we're gonna do that again. <laughs> this is a tempo jump, so what that means is I want you up, boom, stable. Stay on that one foot. I don't want you to, I want you to land, right, in control, up, boom. In control, keep that balance. Boom, keep that balance, coming down. That's gonna teach you how to recover properly. When you're making a cut, boom, you sit down on that hip instead of putting all that pressure on that knee. You're gonna cut, sit down on that hip, and then transfer to wherever you're going. So I'm just gonna do three jumps, three sets each leg. Nice and easy. So each week we're gonna have two leg days, two, up, two lower body days, two upper body days, and a conditioning day. With the lower body days, we're gonna have a well, forward running and then lateral. Forward, forward, backwards movement, and then lateral movements. Today is gonna to be our forward movements. Anything, of course, involving going in a straight line that will help with power, acceleration, sprinting, um, even jumping. So pay attention, Nessa. Next up, we got three sets of three jumps. We got B-skips. With B-skips, I might have this wrong. I believe it's B-skip. Boom, and then reach up. Reach up in the air, all the way in the air. Three jumps down, three jumps back. For an athlete, I feel like the box squat is supreme. And the reason why is because it helps you develop power. It helps you develop that, that strength that an athlete needs, especially in the hips and glute areas, which is our dominant areas for movement, running, sprinting, jumping, 
the hips, especially the hip areas. So doing the box squat allows you to, let's see, we're gonna get in position, right? We're gonna go for, I usually do it closer if I wanna work on my quads and uh, for, that, for that jumping ability. But even still, we're gonna go on that wider stance. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna sit rock back. One, two, pause, boom, explode up. Right, when we explode up, we're exploding up hard, squeezing our glutes, hard contraction. Learning to squeeze your glutes will help you um, stay away from injury because a lot of people don't have, especially athletes, don't have that glute connection they need to make sure the load is on the glutes and everything, instead of everything on the hamstrings. And you have to learn how to separate that feeling. If your glutes and hamstrings squeeze at the same time, then you have uh, connection problems. So learn a lot, just over exaggerate squeezing those glutes so you can tell the difference between your hamstrings contracting and your glutes. Two second count. One second hold. Now this is where the actual exercise starts. So we're gonna go three sets of five. Five reps, we're working on strength. This will help box squats even build size for those who want leg size, as well as helps you learn how to squat properly. That's why I'm doing it for this first episode. So for the new athletes that are coming through, you can do these to help you if you don't feel comfortable in your squat. Try box squats out. And the, the more you get better or comfortable at a certain height, get a lower box and just work your way all the way down into a, to a full squat. Um, one thing about doing the box squats as well is when you're in that position of sitting back, you got all right, one, two, you're like, you're, you're still in an athletic position. This is the athletic position, right? I'm not too linked forward. You don't want to do this. You want to be right here, back slightly arched tight. I'm already engaged in my glutes and hamstrings right here. This one second pause will allow you to have more hip, I mean, uh, glute and hamstring activation for that extension. All right, so let's go. So what we're doing is step ups with a cable. The reason why I choose a cable is because the resistance on top of going up 
is yeah, back as well. When you have a dumbbell or a weight, the resistance is only pulling down on you. So I want something that if you're running, basketball, football, whatever, and you got people on you, let's say you got somebody holding on, right? Trying to tackle you. Your resistance is trying to go this way, boom, this direction. Theirs is the opposite. So we need a, a constant resistance that will help a single leg to, as you're being pulled back, especially one side. One side, you work in the side of the, uh, the abdominals, and that same leg, that same leg that's down, is gonna be opposite arm. So this leg's down, left arm, pull that okay. knee up, drive. This will help with that drive phase, acceleration, and to be a beast. I want three sets of six each leg. enjoying the workout we got one more exercise left which is squat jumps. we got 10 jumps this is more of a uh, maximum capacity output type of exercise because we're gonna have weights on and we're going for 10 reps um, explosive jumps you're really giving it your all every 10 jumps should be great so load boom right back down Boom. As soon as you hit the floor, get into that jump position again and back up. We're not going to jump, pause, and jump again. This is back. This is quick, 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 quick fast switch. Right, so, so like I said, 10 reps. We got three sets. I'll give you a few stretches to do after the exercise. First, we want to hit the hips with the pigeon. With the pigeon, 30 seconds for everything. I'm trying to sit on that hip. I'm not that flexible in my hips, so I can't. In the cobra. Uh, push up. Uh, so you should be. The legs should be off the ground. Hips should be pushing into the ground. Back into a child's pose. I'm trying to reach these hands right here are reaching. They're gonna breathe. So come across. Switch. Alright. Sit back. Butterflies. I'm trying to pull those heels in and pull yourself to your toes. I don't want you shouldn't be rounded like this. You should be upright, chest up, and you should be pulling, pulling in. Straight legs. I'm gonna keep my toes flexed. I'm not gonna let them relax. Keep them like this. Cool. All right, y'all, appreciate y'all watching. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Comment below more if you want more videos like this. Um, the reason why I've been doing what I do, what I have been doing, is to get y'all used to seeing certain exercises um, when I fully just focus on that certain thing. Now it's time to bring everything together. I know a lot, I get a lot of comments about, you know, it's wrong. Like make a, you know, pick a, pick something to do, make a decision, and you know, I have to constantly just cut those type of comments off because I did everything for a reason. I'm doing all these bodybuilding uh, exercising, weightlifting exercising, CrossFit exercising, because when it comes to football, I've done all of those in one. And it was best for me to show you at um, certain parts of, of, of time, just specifically bodybuilding, specifically weightlifting, specifically, you know, CrossFit style. And um, now it's time to bring it all together to give you the real athletic uh, routine to be a complete athlete. It's time to become an athlete and to end this video, we gotta hit a spin a Rooney. All right, hitting a spin a Rooney right now.